So happy New Year's, guys. Very interesting. Very interesting. I'm gonna lie, great game. But South Carolina yesterday. Well, excellent game. Excellent game. They have a lot to look forward to in 2022. Beamer was a great hire. Beamer was an excellent hire. But for what they got next year, Spencer Howard, Austin Stockner. Yeah. By the way, these are good. So much better than actual beer. Um, Still Reserve, Alloy Series, Spite, Watermelon. Spite, Watermelon. This crap. It was really good, All right? So happy new year. Let's be safe. Let's not do anything stupid. Be smart. Had a great game yesterday. Until I saw a nightmare. That nightmare has such a thing. <laughs> I'm not lying about that. Literally, great game. And whoever, whoever, um. Whoever gets hurt is a lucky, lucky specimen. A creature from the Black Lagoon, I'm not going to say, but very interesting. That is... One interesting specimen. By the way, if you get these like burgers, Sam's gonna be like, you get like 10 of them for like $12. And like, you're like Angus beef, like. But, anyways, I'm off of that. It was an excellent game, except for the part where she was in the shrill and shrinking the whole game. A lot of good people there yesterday. A lot of good people. Yeah. Got hit over the head there. But so I'm breaking down who I think is going to win the AFC and the NFC. Intriguing game of the week. The game of the week is going to be is going to be It's gonna be the Chiefs versus the Bengals. I'm gonna go ahead and say that the Chiefs are going to the AFC. Yeah. And my man clips a standout, T. Higgins. Joe Burrow, Mixon, Jamar Chase. Jamar Chase is already a beast. Jamar Chase is only a rookie. But, really and figuratively, Jamar Chase is getting started. He's a beast. Already, Higgins again. So we go playoff tires. We go by like contenders. Um division winners. And then like wild cards.
in the AFC. I mean, AFC. We got tires. We got division winners. Bengals. Chiefs. Patriots. And like we go by right. In the Titans. We like divide that up because like our true contenders are like Chiefs. Bills, the Bills, the Bills can win it. They have a great quarterback, fantasy quarterback. Josh Allen is a beast. Um, don't discount the Bengals. My arm is like. Don't discount like the Bengals. They have the, the skills. Mix it in a beast. Going in tires, like literally and figuratively, like I hate when your smoke alarm goes off. Predicting, I'm still predicting Kansas City, though. I think it's Buffalo and Kansas City. People who could be a threat or could be like a a good like competitive like team that knock off some of the Colts. They have playing playing excellent football. They are like eight and two in the last ten games. But the Colts are the best running back in football right now. And to me, I told somebody preseason, I said, listen, you should not give up on Jonathan Taylor. And, for, and not only is he the best, like, he's like the best at a perspective of he is like The best at like he's the best overall. He's a, just a run kid. He can catch the ball. He's a pass catcher. So I'm going dividers. I'm going check Bengals and Chiefs. Chiefs defense start playing good. They've been a roll. Kelsey, skill player Hill. The Chiefs are dark horse. Wild cards, New England. Give them a couple of years. The Colts can be a threat. Another dark horse, the Chargers. What an excellent young quarterback. Justin Herbert. Still players. Eckler. They got like pretty much everything you want. The NFC. The NFC is interesting. Green Bay, Dallas. If Dallas plays the way they did last week in Sunday Night Football, they are going to be hard to beat. My defense. And the Rams. Who else is it? Um, uh, Rams. Oh, yeah, Buccaneers. And you got the Cardinals are sliding. They're falling like from how far they're going. If I'm not saying I'm not saying the Rams are going to win it, but Matt Stafford's a new man. He is a new man. Matt Stafford is a new man. Really and figuratively, Van Jefferson, Cooper Cup, Sam Michelle, they got contributors. They got Aaron Donald too. Taylor Ramsey. All been down that roster. 
What I'm going to say that I'm probably the Buccaneers will win it. Still the Dark Horse. Right now, the Dark Horse is probably actually the. It's probably the 49ers. They've been playing good. Debo Samuel. They put him in a the slot. They put him in the wildcat formations. Like, if they use him all over the field, he can run the ball and he can catch. He's a beast. Debo Samuel, that's the name I know. Brandon Ayak. They got. Post Alex had a good running boy. They're West Coast. That's has got those, those, like, big massive linemen. Like, they remind. What does Eli Mitchell? You see him. He's a north south runner. So when he gets behind that missile off of his line. But that's a team who's a dark horse. Anyways, happy new year. Despite the watermelons are good.